We know MLK, we know Malcolm X, we know Rosa Parks, and we know the iconic Shirley Chisholm. But who are some of the unsung black heroes that we know nothing about? Well, join me this Black History Month as we walk through 28 days learning about 28 who should be iconic, but are unsung black heroes. Hey, 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 everyone. I am Quentin R. Giles, your host of the Q with Q show, and welcome to another episode of Unsung Black Heroes. Every day this month, I'm going to introduce heroes that have influenced not only the African-American community, but the world at large. Today, we will talk about the life of inventor Andrew Beard, who was one of the few black people to get paid for his inventions. T already? So let's talk about what he did. And at the end of this video, we will discuss how it relates to us today. So let's get educated. Andrew Beard was born in 1849 on a plantation in Woodland, Alabama. At the age of 15 years old, he was emancipated and was married the very next year at the age of 16. Now, not much is known about his parents or his childhood, but we do know that he worked as a farmer, a blacksmith carpenter, a railroad worker, and an entrepreneur. His first invention involved improving the plow. In 1881, he patented his first invention and he had improved the double plow by putting more distance between the plow plates to be adjusted. Now, my man sold his invention for $4,000, which today is $100,000, just three years after inventing it. US 240642 was filed on September 4th 1880 and published on April 26, 1881. In 1887, Beard patented his second plow and sold it for $5,200, which in today's time is $130,000. Now this design allowed for the pitch of the blades or cultivators to be adjusted. US 347220 was filed on May 17th 1886 and was published on August 10th, 1896. Oh yeah, we're gonna run these patent numbers. We got to give my man some credit. Now, while Beard was getting to where the money resides, he took that money that he earned from his first two patents and invested in real estate. Records reveal that Beard received two additional patents for rotary steam engine designs. Here's the patent number. US 433847 was filed and published in 1890. US 478271 was filed in 1892, but it's unclear if these inventions were actually profitable for him. In 1897, Beard's biggest invention came when he made improvements to railroad car couplers, AKA the Jenny coupler. This invention improved the knuckle coupler patent of Eli Janney in 1873. This invention removed the needs for humans to manually hook railroad cards together, which was a very dangerous job as evidenced by Beard's own experience of losing a limb as an ex-railroad worker. My guy received three patents for car couplers. He was definitely making sure that he was going to get all of his credit for all of his work. Now, Beard's ability to obtain patents for his inventions is groundbreaking in and of itself, as many blacks were often denied patents due to either being slaves and then due to discrimination after emancipation. I guess Beard said, oh, I'm not having none of this. You're going to give me all my things. But call it sheer luck, but our guy was able to collect a whopping $50,000 for the rights to his coupler's design, which is $1.5 million today. It's important to note that Congress had just passed the Federal Safety Appliance Act at the time to enforce the use of automatic couplers. This may have been why he wasn't subject to the scrutiny that many other black inventors were subject to. Not much is known about Beard's life, especially after he received the final patent, but it's rumored that he was homeless and paralyzed prior to his death in 1921. Beard's contribution to history is significant as his invention was the first automatic coupler to be widely used in this country. It is unknown if he obtained any formal education, but he was self-taught and liked to study items of interest that led to many of his creative inventions. And not only are we talking about Beard here on the Q with Q show, but Beard was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2016. So the record will be the record forever. Stay tuned for more Unsung Black Heroes. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something, subscribe for more, and make sure you hit that bell notification button to be the first in the queue.